Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I want to have a quick look now at a topic called axonometric projection. Now the fact that it's called projection is it's a way of drawing an object, a 3D object, and I'm going to make a note of that, so you draw a 3D object by projecting from 2D. <coughs> now the end product often looks like looking into I think an easy way to understand it is if you were looking into the corner of a room, so you would have <clears throat> a wall, another wall here, here's the floor, and if you had, say, a box inside in that corner, I'll just lighten that off so you would have if it was just a box so that would be like a wall Here's like another wall. Now in reality there are uh, planes and this is the floor. But these views come from projecting. So I'm going to just draw up here now. These views come from projecting, so here, so I'm going to put some colours on this here now, so if I said that this side of the box was green, Now, so that's a projected view looking up from here. Now the projected view looking up from this side so it's 15 degrees down and a 90 degree angle Make this side red. So there's the front of the box there. Now generally you only need two views to make a 3D. But I'm going to finally put in here the top view down underneath as well. <coughs> Now that's 45 degrees, 45 degrees. So 
So this is the top of the box. Now I'm after doing this backwards because most of the time what you do, almost all the time, especially in junior cert, is you will draw the top view or the side view or the other side view <clears throat> and you will project from you'll only need two so you can have the side and the top or the other side and the top or the two sides together but you'll only need two two D views so that's a 2D view of the side, this is a 2D view of the top, and this is a 2D view of the other side. And you only need two of them to project the 3D view. Now that is not full size, if you were to check the measurements of that it would be a little bit smaller. So it's not a full size 3D. So we're going to look at setting up, up one of these, so I'm going to just move the camera over here now and what I'm going to do I want to do this a bit heavier now so that you can see is I'm going to draw a 30 degree line and another 30 degree line and a vertical line now this is meant to be the floor this is the left wall, that is the right wall, and I'll, I'll draw the top view down here first. I'm going to project this off down, pick a point down here, just zoom back a little bit more from that. So I'm going to pick any random point down here, but we need sides, sizes for this. So let's say this is 60 by 20 by 20. So that's the size of this cuboid here is 60 by 20 by 20. So I'm going to get my 45 degree set square. So I'm going to draw this 45 degree line here, a 45 degree line here, light. And I'm going to measure down 60. by 20 so that's going to be our top view doesn't matter how far down you put it and I'm going to colour that in view. I'm going to put my colour on this here now. So this is a two dimensional top view. Now, the problem with doing the side views, I'm going to come up there now, where do you put the side view? Anywhere a little bit outside to the right of this. So wherever the right hand side of this is, just come out a small bit more, put a dot there. Now, this line needs to slope downwards at 15 degrees. Now, you could use a protractor, but... You're as well off to learn how to put how to do this. So put down your 45 degree set square, put your 60 on top of it. So that's 45, this is 30, that's a 75 degrees, which is 15 degrees down. So the 60 on top of the 45 like this. So that's a 15 degree slope going down the way. And when I twirl it this way then it's 50 it's a 90 degree angle then 
so that's the wall from here that's the floor and this comes out 60 and it goes up 20 So I'll just extend this out. So this is the ground or the floor. That's the edge view, the wall. Now, and that would be green. Now I could go away and finish the question just using this much, but <clears throat> I'm going to put on the last view anyway. So just I always leave the 45 on the bottom and put the 60 degrees above on top. So again, I just want to be a bit to the left of this, anywhere to the left of this. So here I do. So 15 degrees downwards, that's the ground, and then a 90 degree angle then. So that's our wall, this is the floor, and looking up in this direction now, I'm going to see the 20 by 20 square. So I'll just use parallel here now. And that's going to be red because I'm looking up in this direction. So I think in the beginning there are a few colors is a great job to help you to set this up. So this is 20 by 20. And I'm just going to highlight down in a second when I finish colouring this that now the top of that is so the the green in the top view would be along here. This would be the green edge and the blue would be along the top. the red at the end is along here and will be down here so that's all the colors put on it that's a side view this is a side view now the only thing that's important 
and I don't really want like but I started with the corner of the room come straight down come out at 30 put that anywhere come out at 30 this way and put that anywhere just a little bit to the right and this one a little bit to the left of these so they won't be in the way a tiny bit will do now I'm ready now to start projecting so I could pick any of them but I'm going to pick the side view and the top view I think to project this so always start drawing with the front okay because you're not going to be able to see the the back where the wall meets the corner here where the wall and floor meet you can't see that when the object is in the way afterwards so I'm going to start off with the red here at the front so I'm projecting my heights are coming from here my widths are coming from the plan so that here is the red end of the block or shape now again no I wouldn't go colouring it in if I was doing this question and I knew what I was doing but it's probably a good thing when you're learning no the left hand side is up here of course that will also be at a 30 degree angle anyway when I bring this in here that'll just work out being 30 degrees so that goes up and I'm basically just using 30 degree angle here 30 degree angle here and joining the dots there but that will be a 30 degree angle anyway so that there now as I was saying that is our 3d object drawn this is the where the wall and floor meet I'm going to heavy these in now just so you can see them so that's like the wall this is like the floor now they're axonometric planes but it's easier when you're learning it I think to picture them as being walls and floors now I'm going to lighten off the bit that I can see here now where the wall all the stuff that I can see I'm going to lighten off a little bit and put on my colors So for a lot of people that are starting off, the things to remember are, this is not full size, so you can't put full measurements. If I measure that now, look, that's only 48, whereas the real size of it is 60. So this is a, a reduced size, it shrinks the size of it. So that's why you can't put measurements straight onto this. You can only project them. Um, now, and if I had used the side view, you'll see that these all line up as well. That lines up, that lines up, the top lines up. So I could have just used side and side, or top and side, or top and side. You only need two. 
they're the key things now if you can understand that and i suppose the you can put the corner here anywhere but 15 degrees down and to the right and this one is 15 degrees down that's the slope and how did we get that 15 degrees i put 45 degrees set square and the 30 60 on top of it that's the slope and this is the wall then just twirl it and over here then it's the other side that is the wall and this here is the floor just take the three squares away and that there is the floor so 15 degrees down the way and 15 degrees off a of vertical so if you can set this up and draw this every other axonometric is just a more complicated shape but that is the understanding behind it so the best to look with that